And the standoff was centered inside the rental car area that's inside Terminal A. Yeah, a viewer who was inside when this all started has been sending us video throughout the evening, giving us a glimpse at this situation. News 6 investigator Mike DeForest joins us now to break down some of that video, Mike. At least it was a very frightening few hours there inside the rental car area of OIA, uh, but some employees were in a position to see it all go down and captured these images. Shaky cell phone videos captured by airport employees show Orlando police urging a gunman to get rid of his weapon. From behind sliding glass doors, witnesses could see an officer aiming his rifle towards the gunman. Now, it's hard to tell from the video, but that appears to be the suspect there just a few feet away from him. Now, normally police try to keep bystanders as far away from danger as possible, but at least some airport workers were still in the immediate area as crisis negotiators attempted to defuse the situation. At one point, it appears the gunman asked to speak with his father. And we can only imagine that that uh, gunman, and we're calling him a gunman, even though it has turned out to be uh, a simulated weapon, but nonetheless, uh, the person who was uh, the center of all this for several hours, uh, we can only imagine that uh, his family will be in touch with him as he's being hospitalized right now and evaluated. Um, we do not, have not yet seen any video from those final few moments of the standoff, but there are a lot of surveillance cameras there in the airport. And you know, this is probably going to be a, a good training tool for these police officers uh, to share with their colleagues to show how this very successful situation went down. Matt and Lisa. Absolutely. Mike DeForest, I'm sure a lot of relief inside that airport, a lot of relief at home for the families watching.